My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me and that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins, for the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my guardian angel, intercede for me. Today is September 9th, and most years we would have celebrated liturgically the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Nativity of Mary of Nazareth, yesterday on September 8th. This year, of course, September 8th fell on a Sunday, and so the Sunday celebration superseded the celebration of Our Lady's Nativity. However, in our hearts, it's just a day later. So in reality, it's just a day later. So we can continue to celebrate and to wish Our Lady a happy birthday. I have a sister who doesn't talk about her birthday. She talks about her birthday month. She likes to rejoice in different ways the whole month of her birth. And um, we can do that in a smaller way with Our Lady today. And isn't that what we do when we recognize someone's birthday? We say, happy birthday. Happy birthday. We want you to be happy on this, the day of your birth. And what a simple thing to wish someone a happy birthday, to commemorate birthdays, is really to say, we're happy that you're here. We're happy that you exist. We're happy that you were born and that you're still with us. We appreciate you and we want you to be happy too. We want you to be happy in your life, with your life. And in that spirit, there's a beautiful hymn. It's called the Akathist Hymn to the Most Holy Mother of God, the Theotokos. It's from the Eastern Church, composed in the 6th century. And it continually tells our mother, Mary, to rejoice, to be happy. And the source of her rejoicing are all these beautiful titles that she has. It's kind of an Eastern, Eastern version of the Litany of Loretto, which has all those titles of Our Lady. But here in the Akathist hymn to Theotokos, all of the titles, or all the compliments to Our Lady, are preceded by rejoice. The archangel was sent from heaven to cry rejoice to the Theotokos. And beholding you, O Lord, taking bodily form, he stood in awe. And with his bodiless voice, he cried aloud to her such things as these. And so all of the compliments that follow are couched in this scene of the Annunciation, this conversation between Gabriel, the Archangel Gabriel, and Our Lady. And so in the imagination of the author, in the imagination of the Church, Gabriel didn't just say, Hail Mary, full of grace, to greet her, but also had all these other compliments that he communicated to Our Lady. Rejoice you through whom joy shall shine forth. Cause of our joy. You through whom joy shall shine forth. It's kind of like Sally shall see shells on the seashore, but whatever. Rejoice, you through whom the curse will vanish. Rejoice, the restoration of fallen Adam. Rejoice, the redemption of the tears of Eve. Rejoice, O height beyond human logic. Rejoice. O oh, depth, invisible even to the eyes of the angels. Rejoice, for you are the king's throne. Rejoice, you bear him who bears the universe. Rejoice, O oh star revealing the sun. Rejoice, O oh womb of divine incarnation. Rejoice, you through whom creation is renewed. Rejoice, you through whom the creator is born a babe. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. Beautiful list, and it goes on 
and on and on. It's a very long hymn. And in a way, our song, Happy Birthday to You, Happy Birthday to You, Happy Birthday, Dear Mommy or Mary, is similar. Um, we just keep saying, be happy today. Rejoice. It's much shorter, of course, but there's a similar sentiment there. We want you to be happy. You should be happy. Rejoice, it continues, O seer of the ineffable will. Rejoice, O surety of those praying in silence. Rejoice, you preface of Christ's miracles. Rejoice, you the pinnacle of his commands. Rejoice, O heavenly ladder by which God descended. Rejoice, O bridge leading those from earth to heaven. Rejoice, O miracle, much marveled of angels. Rejoice, O trauma, much dirged of demons. Rejoice, you who ineffably gave birth to the light. Rejoice, you who revealed the mystery to none. Rejoice, O knowledge superseding the wise. Rejoice, you who enlightened the minds of the faithful. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. And isn't this what we do in our normal life? If it's someone's birthday, we try to let bygones be bygones. We try to see their good side. We see it as an occasion for our own joy, but also to make them happy. Maybe we buy them a present, or maybe we make them something special for dinner, or have a birthday cake. We take them out for a beer if they're a friend of ours, or... It's always something special, someone close to us who has a birthday. It's a different kind of day, and it's a cause of celebration, and it's more joyful. And in that, we treat the person better. We treat the person better. And this is what the church is doing in this hymn. It's treating Our Lady extremely well, compliment upon compliment, pointing out all of her good qualities trying to make her happy. Our Lady, in her humility, maybe she's upset with this, but uh, too bad, right? <laughs> maybe she doesn't like what seems like flattery. But also in her humility, she knows that it's all from God. That this is all based on God's choice, all based on God's plan for her, all based on what God has done for her. Did she have to respond? Of course. Did she respond completely? And generously, without sin, of course. But God is behind it all, and God is the reason for it all. He chose her. He made her his mother. He called her. She said yes, but he called her. His was the initiative. He filled her with grace. Rejoice, vessel of the wisdom of God. Rejoice, treasury of his providence. Rejoice, you who prove the philosophers fools. Rejoice, you who prove the logicians illogical. Rejoice for the subtle debaters that are confounded. Rejoice for the inventors of myths are faded away. Rejoice, you who fill the nets of the fishermen. Rejoice, you who draw us from the depths of ignorance. Rejoice, you who enlighten many with knowledge. Rejoice. Raft for those who desire to be saved. Rejoice haven for those who fare on the sea of life. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mother. Happy birthday to you. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations which you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my guardian angel, intercede for me.